In this video, we are going to see that how we can retrieve data from Firebase Firestore database without actually updating it constantly. We will only try to update it once when our React app loads and doesn't update it till the page doesn't refresh us. So what do I mean by that? Let me explain you. So first of all, in the previous episode, we have created this function where we are calling this function and we are getting data bay data from our database right and but what was happening there is as i am changing the data here so let me show you if i am changing my name here from ashish to tad and click on update then you will see that it will automatically change here you can see it is ted here and that is what i am explaining i want to say that in this video we are going to make it so that it does not change automatically but before that i would like to explain you some of the terms in the previous video you guys made some comments to explain these terms so today i am here to explain them first of all so you asked about something called on snapshot so what is on snapshot now there is two kinds of data retrieving and one method is on snapshot now you can read this an initial call using the callback you provide creates a document snapshot immediately with the current contents of the single document. Then each time the contents change, another call updates the document snapshot. Now what do we mean by this in simple words is it is a listener to receive data change events. Now each this on snapshot is a listener like whenever the data is changed it is a listener that calls the which is like asynchronously whenever the data is changed there it calls again and again so that this thing renders again and again the data here changes again and again that is what it does now what we are going to do and you okay one more thing you guys are asked is about query snapshot now query snapshot has a different use which we are not actually using here we have just taken it as a pa parameter to the function here like it is the query like the data from the snapshot we are getting like you can understand it from its word itself that the data from that particular snapshot that is what we mean by query snapshot right here nothing else than that and within all that data we are getting a for each function within that we are getting each of the document like what are those documents this these are each of the documents document one document two document three and after that if we are saying doc dot data it is nothing but this docs id name and skill this docs id name and skill this docs id name and skill that is what is actually happening here and then we are simply doing set data and that and we are actually retrieving it through jsx so now let's do it so that it doesn't update automatically it updates on refreshing so for that let me just remove this comment first of all and comment this complete function right here just like this and then let me just comment out this and now let's create another function call let's say function get data to and within this we need no parameter so I'm not giving it any parameter and now within this function we are again using the reference container but this time we are using something called dot get we are only launching I mean calling the get function once because we want the data only once not change automatically and then dot then and within this dot then we have we need to have our item and now this item is just a parameter and now for this item we are taking an array let's say const items and within this items we just want to add all the data okay now we will use some shorthand properties here we will simply say item that particular item dot docs and for that map it and this map is a function and then we are taking a parameter in there which is each of our docs as we did previously but we, this time we are doing it much shorter way okay then here we just simply need to say doc dot data which we did above also which is here and that is it now simply we need, again need to do set data set data to these items and when I said set data to these items and if I say set loader to false now because I have to remove the loader I created 
okay so now our function is complete and now let's save it and check it out okay and now if I refresh the page I should not get any data and if I go here call the get data to function let's call it and now we have our data now just see what will happen if I change the data here I will change this Ted back again to my name and click on update and now you will see it doesn't update now it is still Ted here but as if I refresh you see it will become Ashish now now that is what this get function does and that is what this on snapshot function does so that is it for this video guys if you have any comments I mean queries or doubts just let me know in the comments below and I will meet you again with another episode on this Firebase Firestore and until then bye.